let's talk about that heat out there. It is really intense. Yesterday hit 105 officially at the airport. Today we're expecting to do the same. Some record breaking heat shattering old all time records in the Southland. And yeah, that word says snow out there. An impressive storm in Colorado today. They're seeing highs in the 90s. Tomorrow they'll be in the 30s as this system digs down. And it's actually going to push our high pressure further over our region and create some dry desert winds. So for now, will we watch this change in the weather? We're at 83 at this hour, 85 in Taft, 80 still in Kernville, 83 in Jawbone Canyon after they were in the 90s much of the night. So with all of this heat, the excessive heat warning continuing until 9 p.m. tonight for all of Kern County and then up into our mountains, a new area of pink. This is our fire weather warning, also called a red flag warning in effect until 11 p.m. tomorrow night. And you'll see here in the future cast this high pressure again getting pushed out of the way as that snowstorm digs in. It's going to sit there and churn over the Four Corners regions. So they're talking about some crazy temperature drops. Crazy to be talking snow in September as well. But for us here at home, as that high pressure is pushed offshore, we get some dry desert winds. So today, very hot, very smoky, very uncomfortable for us. A little bit of a northwesterly wind. And then tonight, watch how the winds change directions and heading into tomorrow. It's coming from the northeast and picking up in speed as the day goes on. So if we were to get a spark in our local mountains, we would quickly have a fire getting out of control. But of course, we are also quite concerned about the SQF complex fire burning just to the north of the Kern County line and the Creek fire up by Shaver Lake, which has been ravaging the area this weekend. These erratic winds will fan the flames of those fires. So while winds will push out a lot of the smoke, unfortunately, as they fan the flames, it'll create more smoke. So we have to call it hazy for at least two days, and then we'll reassess that air quality situation on Wednesday as things calm down. We get to some more seasonal mid 90s. I know I was mentioning snow for our friends in Colorado. We don't get any of that here at home, but at least it will be more seasonal sunshine across the board as we head into the weekend and then a bit warmer early next week, but no record breaking heat out there. The current River Valley 103 today, 98 tomorrow and then 90 on Wednesday. Tatchby and Fraser Park, you do have some 80s in sight, more seasonal for the end of the week into this weekend, but we still have two pretty nasty days to get through up there. Make sure that you're staying very fire aware. If you see any smoke at all, call the fire department right away so they can respond.